All right, thank you all for coming. This is Norse Codes Radio's first Live at the Lock session. We're here today with Resonator from Cincinnati. Um, my name is Emily Coy. I'm the GM of Norse Code Radio, and we just want to say thank you to all the staff here who helped us today. And here's Resonator.
you're in my arms Before how long Our endless days are numbered Our present days are gone But hey Don't you cry Don't you cry Cause I'll be in the bluebird at sunrise Oh, next to you We've gone so long we shots and through blows But our doors ain't been closed Since I met you Hey there, honey, don't you cry, don't you cry Cause I'll be in the wind blows every time Whoa, next to you Next to you Don't you cry, don't you cry Cause I'll be your boyfriend when he lies Oh, oh, oh. Then what brought us wrong It's like the longer we last If you were in here Staring at two finish lines Of two different roads It's like the longer we last If you were in here Man made is not natural Boys, is now a comfortable happiness Hope I was strong, hope you was warm, hope you was warm Hope you was warm Hey, hey there, honey, don't you cry, don't you cry I'll be in the city when I That was awesome, guys. Great job. Well, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Alex Gray. I am the assistant manager for Norse Code Radio. Uh, did you guys enjoy that? Woo! Yeah. Woo All right. So uh, I'm going to ask you guys some questions here. Uh, first off, how are you guys today? <laughs> Absolutely. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Fantastic. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Um, so first off, let me ask about Resonator. How did the band come to be? So uh, we are college students right now. Freshman year, um, I talked to Jackson about starting a band together. And uh, we started off with a different drummer. But um, yeah, I mean, we really, we've been playing shows for two and a half years now, something yeah, like that. Yeah, two and a half years. Yeah, I was in a high school band called Magic Noodle House. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it was a great name. Uh, <laughs> And one time I saw Ian's band, uh, Wicked River, play. Their old blues rock uh, band. We saw him at the Underground, which is a venue up in Cincinnati. Okay. And uh, so it got me intrigued, and I uh, texted Ian that summer uh, going into college. I was like, hey, man, it's all your band, and uh, kind of went from there. So. Yeah. Uh, 
how I joined the band. I, I was at uh, the Mockbee, so they were already like a band for like a year or something like that, maybe six months. And uh, I was at the Mockbee seeing my friend's band, and they were the opener band, and they were like, so yeah, our drummer's last night is tonight. So I was like, I'm a drummer. And we <laughs> talked after the show, and I've been in the band since then. It was pretty cool. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> um, what are some early memories you guys have, like first shows or some of the first shows you ever played? I think our first show was a basement show at our uh, friend's house. It was like way too small of a basement to hold like 30, 40 people. So that was kind of fun. You know, it was, it was hot and toasty down there, you know. You know how basement shows are. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think, I think that was our, probably our first show, right? Yeah, so we, our first show, uh, when we had our uh, original drummer, Luke Svensson, um, he was at, at the basement of Joey Lebker's house, who was a lead singer for Fisco. Uh, he was having a basement show. And then a year later, Nathan joined the band, and his first show with us was also at Joey's house. It was like the summer uh, version of the house show. We yeah. were just outside. It was cool. It was extremely hot, too. I remember that. It was a, I, my hands, I was going for the bass strings, and... I could barely move my fingers because they were getting like stuck. There was like I was sweating so bad. But it was it was a good time. You know. Very cool. Um, so songwriting inspirations are. Are there any themes that stand out or any musical influences that you guys have? I think a lot of people draw the similarity between like the Black Keys, and I think that especially for me and Jackson, we like really like oh. Uh, we really like grew up listening to the Black Keys, so like they were super formative. But I know that Jackson really likes the Strokes, so he probably tries to throw as much in as possible. But yeah, yeah, probably just like like blues rock. Um, I think lately we've really been influenced by like you know '60s soul. I think I think we've really been uh, messing around with that, and like some R and B type things. It's like yeah, so I think we're really just all over the board there. Yeah, and then uh, when Nathan joined, uh, his drumming is definitely different from what we were used to for like the first year. Uh, Nathan listens to, like a lot of Tame Impala, right? Yeah, Tame Impala is my favorite band. Well, I, I I like the drumming, and so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I listen. So he is right. I listen to the Black Keys every day for uh, I think a year straight. I listen to their entire discography on shuffle. So. It's a, it's a little shameful, but also proud of it. <laughs> That's way too much. That's like. That is way too much black keys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last question, uh, do you, uh, what are the two songs you just played? The first one was Leave Me Alone. Um, next to You is the next one. That's right. Next to You is the first song. Actually, no. Yeah, they're the first two songs on our album. So Just flip-flopped. Yeah, just flip-flopped. But yeah, yeah. All righty. Well, um, with that, we're going to Go ahead and let you guys continue playing with your next two songs here, WNKU and Open Up. Words mean anything to anyone. Do you 
rise for the people to see this way on all in fear with all I see on a giant of things right in tree Fresh your own food is just just don't be in in peace WNKU love to see what you guys are doing picking it back up Check 
questions or pronouns Please, 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 please Don't pull me out I'm sitting comfy alone Guiding myself alone Sealing shame with my losses alone Always hard to speak on But never get it out Thoughts backed in a blind spot Shame those hind spots can't climb style Crash those feelings in the middle of a life swap Motionless thinking of calm style Appreciation of differences still So quick to judge So slow to learn Before they even mouth the word These black betray Live on foundation to shake It's about time I open up You both shy you know what happens with time It's about time I think on my own man Oh, 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 good guys good job um, all right so continue with our next round of questions uh, by the way once again you're checking out the first edition of live at the lock hosted by Norse code radio um, this is the assistant manager Alex Gray and by the way uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves like your names and everything I don't think you guys have done that I am Ian Campbell 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Jackson Burton. And I'm Nathan Howeller. All righty. So, um, what is y'all's favorite venue that you've ever played at, and what are some of the best venues in the region to, uh, to find guys like you and new music and everything like that? So I'd say that uh, this is probably ranking along like the highest because it's kind of sweet in here. This place is sweet. Yeah. It's so sweet, so cool, you know. And then you got the backdrop. Like we never played with a backdrop. Yeah, we, <laughs> we played uh, Southgate House, uh, yeah. the Sanctuary. That was really cool. Yeah, that's um, probably my favorite. That's probably my favorite venue. Cool. Um, yeah, but places for uh, you know young artists to kind of build off of. I'd probably say Urban Artifacts, great place. Like they they book like smaller bands and bigger bands and it's just like a really good stepping stone i feel like for sure yeah urban urban artifacts probably my favorite one and like we played our first few shows there and we're still playing there and it's still just as great and for new people in the music scene and like current it's still always a good place to play Best show I've ever been to, I gotta I got say, is Twin Peaks at the Woodward, though. Woodward Theater downtown, across from Motor Pub. Uh, best show I've ever been to. So. For sure, for sure. Yeah, the Woodward's also like a big stepping stone in the music scene. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think Top Cats, too, like the, the Top Cats revival kind of thing. That's really nice because it's right on campus, you know? So then, like, a lot of our fellow UC students can uh, end up going, checking us out. All right, well, be sure to check, check some of those places out. Um, so next question, what is, like, your dream show? Like, what bands would you ever want to perform with or what dream venue would you ever dream of playing in? Um, so, I mean, I feel like I'd always wanted to play in, like, PNC Pavilion or, like, Riverbend if we're just talking around, like, Cincinnati area. Um, I don't know. Those just seem like I, – I grew up listening or going to so many of those concerts – and, I mean, it would just be kind of awesome to play up on that stage. Um, I'd probably say my dream band to play with would naturally be, like, the Black Keys, you know. We're just, like, pretty heavily influenced by them. They're yeah. kind of, like, role models. But, honestly, like, I would really like to play with the Districts. I don't know if you know the Districts. I think they're from Philadelphia. But, um, yeah, they, they just have such a killer energy. I saw them last year open up for uh, Hippocampus. So, uh, yeah, that was just a great show, for real. Yeah, I was trying to think of some bands that would go really good with us, and I think Eden got it pretty good. The districts are really good, and we that would be fun. I, I want Twin Peaks to join, too, because uh, they, they, like, ride around motorcycles and do, like, uh, they play, like, all put frisbee for their gigs and stuff. I'm like, I want to hang out with those guys. Like, that, that sounds <laughs> cool. They, they toured together, districts and Twin Peaks. So, uh, zoom back a year, I'd like to hop on that, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Um, what advice do you have to aspiring musicians? I'd probably say kind of just to keep persistence being key. Because, I mean, like, so we've played shows to, like, relatively, like, a relatively large crowd. Um, but we've also played shows to, like, four people, you know. Actually, no. I think, I think we played one show to, like, three people, two of which were my parents. One was like a random person. It was in Indianapolis. Um, yeah, it was, it was really, really quite a show. But I mean, honestly, like really when, when the shows are kind of looking light, it's kind of just to like keep, keep going, you know, and like really, uh, really just give it your all every night because you never know who's watching. And like also you just want to give a solid show to like the people who do end up caring about your music and success for you. I would probably say uh, no matter what your art form be, there's always something new to create. And if you're a musician, you should always strive to uh, try to make something that's never been done before. Mm -hmm. Watch it now. Uh oh. <laughs> if you're a musician, invest in the right gear. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, my advice for uh, musicians uh, is that uh, creative work can often be the most fulfilling work. Uh, so even I mean that kind of goes with the persistence thing. Uh, always take time to be like kind of self-aware. Like what what are the projects you most been proud of? Uh, a lot of for a lot of us, maybe it's creative projects or it's uh, something 
pro I, I don't know, it's a woodworking project that I, I can't woodwork, I'm terrible at that, but like, uh, just notice what's most fulfilling for you and then just keep going at it in the future regardless of the results, so. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much for answering that. And lastly, uh, where can we find your music and when can we find out about some uh, upcoming shows you guys have? Yeah, so um, you can really check us out any streaming service, you know, Spotify, Apple Music. I just learned that we're not on Tidal, so we should, we should get on that. I don't even know what that <laughs> yeah. is. I don't like Jay-Z anyway. <laughs> no, 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 we love Jay-Z. Let's just, let's not, like, you know, let's not let's try to Let's be honest here, beat. Jackson. <laughs> we love Jay-Z. Yeah, we also have uh, vinyl copies available if we have any uh, vinyl uh, heads out there. Woo! Send us a message. Hey, yeah. There, there, yeah. There's a woo. There's a woo. Hey. Yeah. There, there's a hand. Yeah, there's a woo and a hand. So we already got two. So. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just like uh, uh, message us on Instagram or come talk to us after the show. Love talking to people after the show. So. Yeah, yeah, and you know if you're still kind of living in the past, we also have CDs. So you know, yes. I've, honestly, if you just want something that will always <laughs> stay in your car, then it's like, yes. yeah, you know, like we got, we, you know, if you have a CD player, we got a CD for you. I tell you what, but um, yeah, but upcoming shows. So kind of interesting, uh, we have been playing shows kind of nonstop since January 4th. So shout out to like everybody who has continually supported us, even while we're playing all these like local shows back to back, you know, you guys are the real MVPs. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I think we're going to take a little bit of a break, maybe like a month or something like that. And then we're playing River's Edge in Hamilton. Hamilton? Yeah, it's like a concert in the park series. It, it looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it'd be outdoor concert. I love the. We played our first outdoor concert last weekend. Well, I guess since Joey's house, like two years ago. But yeah, it's uh, it'll be Hamilton, Ohio. So it's put on by the, the area. So they give us fun. a free round of golf there too. There you go. <laughs> I think we're gonna start making that like a staple. Like we won't play any shows unless you offer us a free round of golf. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever golfed before. Like yeah. But you know, it's it, it, it's all it's all about you know the first time opportunities. That's cool. Backing up what Ian said, I think we did the math since we started our. It's not like a tour, but like we kind of just have been playing a bunch of shows. I think on average we played like seven point five days consecutively. Like I don't know. No 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 no. It's like <laughs> it's like we played at one show every seven point five days since we released the album, and then like. That's kind of it's kind of cool playing a show a week. It's the engineer. Oh yeah, whipped out the calculator. I was like, I gotta figure this out, you know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of shows and uh, it's been fun, it's been real. That's very good. All right, well, uh, guy, oh, can't talk today. <laughs> Well, enjoy these next three songs here, Narrow Line, Glendora, and Modern Day. Once again, give it up for Resonator, guys. <laughs> Thank you. drift astray on oh, now to see past the docks ignoring the birds in the tree their homes got me thinking oh what did I do all this time just me over you Guess I don't understand About a friend and a man 
Which one to let down and which one to help stand? I want you now. Isn't that what Mama always talks about? meant to be so let me rest in peace I close my eyes covered my ears Plugged my nose and jumps into it the clear. Water was freezing, so hard to breathe. Birds left their nests just to circle over me. Legs keep me floating. Lungs do so too. Heart keeps me sinking. Oh my, where are you? In comes the tidal wave, wipes me to shore. As I open my eyes, your face I am sure. I want you now They were Mama always talks about Just to see one more Before I got up Bring you out my open door If you ever change your mind About leaving, leaving me behind oh, 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 Bring it to me, bring your sweet love in Bring it on home to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be so let me rest here peacefully let me rest here peacefully Little word, what's on your mind? You 
here to stay. You don't know, but she runs your show from the time you wake up until you're old. Looks so mean, she's a she's a cannon machine. She just needs some self-esteem. Give it time that you don't own it and say that's fine. So instead, let the music take your mind. Oh, look at all the pretty people. They're just dancing, they're just dancing with no song. You're not worth it. Or maybe just having tried It's pretty clear They're not satisfied Others may break you free A rubble remains Until you seem to steal your key Can't be so difficult Sure ain't too simple for us Man like you. Grab your steam and head out the door for this breakout. It's all yours. Oh, look at all the pretty people. They're just dancing, they're just dancing with no
kiss on your mother's hip with the light shining in. You see the world as they want you Be it black or be it blue as no one touch you all Lay your pretty head down Bear the new hope Never do well so silly Don't give a damn about it Youth and innocence keeps you oblivious Until you step into an ancient world disguised as modern day Lay your pretty head down Never do you have so many Don't give a damn about you Lay your pretty head down Bear the door Tell the world so dearly Don't give a damn about you I want you in a high from view Of your road there See it's true Got the blue of a broken man Preach with the heart, and the man he speaks, he tears us apart. Some roll left, some roll right, in a battle between fellow men. Who really wins the fight in a state of political disarray? I just have one last thing I. Gotta say, I want you in a high from view of your rose. See his true color blue of a broken man. Oh, I want you in a open of your mind. Thank you so much. All right, thank you all again for coming. Once again, this was NCR's first Live on the Lock session. We were in the Griffin Hall Digitorium, and we want to give a special shout out to Joe Wendell, who helped us with all the tech support, 
and training, and to Krista Rayford, who let us use this space, and a shout out to John Barnett, our program director, and our assistant manager, Alex Gray, and all the other NCR and EMB students who helped us put this together today. My name is Emily Coy. I'm the GM of Norse Code Radio, and this is Resonator. Thank you all. Have a good night.